At the start of the race, Yama Berman made a good getaway, but the biggest loser was Nicky Mermanov dropping from second position down further through the order. There was collisions at the back where a McLaren got together. It was the number one car of Fred Makovicki coming into contact with the Ferrari. And as the field streamed through turn three, Makovicki himself got into a little bit of trouble, running wide on the chicane and very lucky not to collect either of the Armco barriers. Philippe Dumas saw the end of that car's race. A bit of a nerf as Nicky Mermanov made his way past Marc Basseng. A forceful move, Basseng then almost got caught out by the attacking Stefano Telli in the Audi on the outside. They went side by side and eventually Basseng lost the position. The Audi and the Mercedes of the sister cars were battling hard. Enzo Ede picked up the right front puncture and that forced him to retire. Alba von Turnen Taxis had also retired because of a puncture. Bit of a thumbs down weekend for them. At the pit stops came around, Oliver Jarvis took over from Frank Stippler. They looked like they were going to be challenging for some decent points. Nicky Mermanov was pleased, he managed to get back out in second position after Michael Bartels took over from Yama Berman, emerging in a less comfortable lead, but in the lead nevertheless after they had some troubles with their seatbelts at the pit stops. So there were the top three, it was just left for the Audi to make their pit stop, Stefan Ortelli handing over to Laurence Van Thor, but they had a bit of a slower pit stop than they would have liked, heading out back onto the circuit, not enough to take the lead, ending up battling for over third place with Marc Basseng and Marcus Winkelhock in the Mercedes, just coming out behind on the run down into Turn 1. Hot work for Stefan Ortelli. So it was a BMW 1-2 heading down into turn 10 and it looked fairly comfortable. Matthias Lauda now running in the second BMW was starting to put Bartels under a little bit of pressure. Good move from Oliver Jarvis making his way past Philippe Salaquada into turn 8, getting the job done nice and late. Alvaro Parent ran wide on the exit of the chicane, ripping up the rear bodywork of the car. That brought out the safety car whilst the debris was removed and that compromised the BMWs because their big lead suddenly became a very small lead indeed. Matthias Lauda was still half asleep at the restart. That allowed Marcus Winkelhock to get alongside on the run down into the first corner on the final lap and move up to take the second position. He was trying to put Bartels under some pressure. He couldn't manage it. And for the second time this season, Michael Bartels and Jermo Berman took the championship race victory here at the Slovakia ring. He was delighted with that, disappointed that his team couldn't complete the 1-2, but as they sprayed champagne on the podium, it's they who lead the championship, having extended their lead here at Slovakia Ring this weekend.